All right, there's pre-shave here too. That's pretty cool. So, if you're struggling to get over the wall, there's two things. Well, there's a few things I recommend. Surfing this ramp is important. The way you surf this ramp is important. If you you should be able to notice that this there's two sections to it. There's a section that is descending, and there's a section that's flat. What you have to make sure is that you, in perspective to this ramp, you ascend on it in order to level you out. What I mean by that is if I'm going to go up on the ramp, if I'm going to pull up on the ramp, that makes it look like I'm rescending compared to the ramp, but I'm not. Or what I'm really doing, because the ramp's descending so much, is flattening out. And you have to flatten out a little bit before you get to the second section. This is this is a good example of not flattening it out before the second section. So I go to the bottom and I just ride the bottom. I'll like I'll exaggerate it. That's not flattening out. That means what I'm doing there is essentially like flicking at this section. I'm in incurring a lot of friction in that bend. Like so basically I'm sat on this ramp. There's no friction, no friction, no friction. Lots of friction, no friction, no friction, no friction. And you want to balance that out so it's like medium friction throughout. The way you do that is as soon as you touch the ramp, you're kind of turning and then you drop into it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Tips with Orson <Orson> Grant. <laughs> like that. It's like, to super exaggerate it, if you go to the bottom, to the spine, to the bottom again, that's kind of like what you do it, but it's much more subtle than that. Sinky does it a little bit exaggerated looking, so maybe that's the way you do it. But I do it with just a small gap. I just save a little bit of height. So I, on this first part of the ramp, I serve, I grip it, I do my little ramp strafe, and then I stay like only two thirds of the way down so that when I meet the elbow, I can slide down the joint in the ramp. So two thirds of the way up and then drop to the bottom after the joint. That way, if you incur too much friction, if you incur too much friction in the bend, you're going to lose speed. And everybody loses speed here, and they don't realize that's one of the bigger bigger reasons why they're failing the skip, is because they've already lost too much speed. That's tip number one. <laughs> that's probably the most important one, because that's the most nuanced. All right. Um, the second part is when you go around that corner, you want to focus on making sure that your turn is consistent, slow, and smooth. The more jerky it is, the more units you're gonna lose. You also need to make sure you've got high FPS because the same thing. If you've got 60 frames, you're going around that turn corner, there's only gonna be 64, reg well, it's the, it's hard to explain. Less frames, less registrations, and that means it looks, the server thinks your, your turn's sharper than it is. So, you want to have lots of frames and you want to turn around that corner as slowly as possible while still making the the corner. Um, another thing you want to consider is the longer you take to go around here, by the time you hit this ramp is you're falling faster and that's important. So I'll tell you why that is. So when we come off this one, if we flick up and go straight to here, I, by the time I hit that, because I got there very quickly, I wasn't falling very quickly. <laughs> the, the human eye can only see one. I'll, I'll explain the FPS argument in a second. I'll try to. It's actually very hard for me to explain, but I'll try. Um, so anyway, if you go around here really quick, you reduce your fall speed, which is your z-axis. So the less z-axis you get here is the better, because if you're if you're not falling when you get here, all you have to do is pull yourself up. But if you are falling when you get here, not only do you have to pull yourself up, you have to, pr you have to stop the fall, which is like catch your fall, and then pull up, which makes it harder. So it's a balance of doing that corner nice and slow so you don't lose speed, and also nice and tight so that you can get there early enough so you're not falling when you get there. So the the idea is, is that you want to flick off the tip of that ramp enough so that you still not fall in by the time you get to the second one, like that. That's probably the best way to do it. I'll do a couple of demos. Like that. So that makes sense. I hope that's a decent demo of, of what I've just tried to explain. One second. <laughs> 